Hi, welcome back to the channel and video number 111. I'm going to get away from some of the comparison videos I've been doing for a bit here and get back into some flying videos. In this one I take a trip down south to Medicine Hat, Alberta to talk to a few of my customers flying SDS EFI in their aircraft and uh, go for a short flight down there as well and just put something together for you guys to watch here, hopefully find interesting and informative again. So where is Medicine Hat, Alberta, you might ask? Well, we've got a map uh, showing its location right here. So the first aircraft we'll take a look at is Lyle Clarkson's Vans RV-9A. And of course that's fitted with uh, SDS fuel injection. So Lyle's engine was originally equipped with uh, brand X EFI, shown here on a different engine, six cylinder. But you'll notice that they uh, point the injectors uh, away from the ports. So the ports are up here actually. They're pointing the injectors uh, downwards. And uh, a lot of people using this system had reported they had throttle response and uh, rough running issues, sometimes uh, poor cold starting. And uh, Lyle had some uh, rough running at light throttle coming into land and some throttle response issues. So we got our generation one injector mounts, which uh, mount in roughly the same place, but they angle the injector to spray up towards the port. And in a lot of cases with other customers, uh, this has totally fixed the uh, runnability issues uh, evident in the Brand X system. And uh, that's how it uh, turned out for Lyle as well. He reported all his issues were gone and uh, he was very happy with the decision to switch over to the SDS components uh, away from the Brand X stuff. And here's a couple of photos of the uh, SDS Generation 1 injector mounts. You'll notice that they point towards the port instead of away from the port. Here's a couple photos of uh, Lyle's panel. Uh, pretty nice layout here. And a bit of a walk around with the uh, top cowling off. Coil packs are both mounted on the firewall. That's uh, one option. We can also mount them uh, where the magnetos were as well. And time to go for a short flight to see how uh, all this stuff works. Touch the throttle. Clear.
Medicine Hat boasts some of the uh, largest greenhouses in the world. A couple here are uh, well over a million square feet each. Thanks very much to Lyle for taking me up for a city tour of uh, Medicine Hat. Next we'll look at another RV9A. This one is uh, owned by Alan Rose. And again, it's got our SDS on it here with the uh, newer programmer, as you can see here in the panel. And uh, he mounted the injectors uh, in the primer ports. And we usually mount uh, this type uh, up on top where the injectors are originally. However, uh, he decided to do it this way and it seems to work fine. Here's the uh, map sensor detail, dual map sensors. Coil packs are mounted in the original magneto holes. And Alan's pretty happy with how the SDS uh, runs on his RV9 here. And finally, the third SDS-equipped aircraft we'll look at is a 1946 Urcoop, which is a bit unusual to put SDS on. It's the only one that uh, I'm aware of. And uh, in Canada, we have a classification called owner maintenance, where we can uh, take older aircraft and uh, do maintenance ourselves. And that allows us to keep flying some of these things and make some modifications where parts are no longer available. These small Continentals have quite a reputation for carb icing, and uh, of course the EFI totally solves that. Here's the throttle body in place of the carburetor, and you can see some of the other parts of the installation here. Fuel pressure regulator. Here's the injectors up on top, and uh, you can see the new spark plug wires as well. The STS programmer in the panel. Here's a blister to cover the uh, injectors. There wasn't quite enough clearance. There's a programmer powered up in the panel. ECU. And a better shot of the injectors and the spark plugs up on top there. There's a good shot of the airplane. It's really nice to see these uh, old airplanes kept flying with a little bit of help from uh, new technology. Many thanks to all the guys for showing me their airplanes. Had a nice afternoon there. And also thanks to Harry Jagger for uh, helping some of these guys do these EFI installations on their airplanes. He's a very knowledgeable and talented mechanic based down here in the hat.